Gross Domestic Product or GDP GDP is a measure of the level of economic activity in a country. It is defined as the market value of all final goods and services produced within a country in a given period of time. Let's have a look at the different parts of this definition. By market value, we mean the price that is actually paid for goods and services. By final, we mean goods and services that are consumed and not things that are used as inputs into something else that is sold later. So, if you buy a screw to fix your home, then this is counted as part of GDP. But, if an airline buys a screw to fix its plane, it is not counted as GDP. Only the final ticket price that passengers pay for their travel is included in GDP. This is done to avoid double counting of items that are used as inputs. Produced within a country means everything was made in the country, including exports. And in a given period of time usually means a year or a quarter. The way that GDP is measured is by identifying all spending in an economy. This includes consumption by households, investments by companies on things like machines and equipment, and government spending on goods and services. We then add exports since these are produced at home but consumed abroad. And we subtract imports since these are consumed at home but made in another country. We can look at GDP as the result of the quantity of goods and services produced, multiplied by the price level. This is called nominal GDP. Here, we see that if GDP increases as a result of an increase in the price level, then the standard of living in the country has not actually changed. That's why economists calculate GDP as constant prices, or real GDP. Changes in real GDP are the result of increases in real output and not the result of price inflation. To compare the GDP between different years or countries, we can look at the level of GDP per person, also called GDP per capita. This is calculated by dividing the total GDP by the number of people in a country. A small country can have a smaller total GDP than a big country, but its people may be better off. Comparing GDP between countries gets difficult if price levels vary a lot. $5 in China will buy you a lot more cups of coffee than in Switzerland. We can calculate GDP in both countries after taking into account these differences in price levels, and this is called GDP at purchasing power parity. An increase in GDP usually indicates that the standard of living is rising. Since the year 2000, global GDP has been increasing by nearly 3% per year. Some countries have grown faster, others slower. When the GDP in an economy is falling for two quarters in a row, it is in a recession. Although GDP is a useful measure of well-being, there are some limitations. First, GDP does not include the value of activities that are not paid for, such as housework or volunteering. Second, the level of GDP does not tell us about the distribution of income. Even when overall GDP per capita is high, there may be a few extremely rich and many poor people in the country. Also, GDP does not take into account the quality of the environment or other aspects of the quality of people's lives. It is possible to increase GDP by taking less vacation, but this may not make people happier. That concludes the Intro to GDP. Check our other videos for more insights. Brought to you by Sim Institute.